Hi everybody, it's Leo from the sound for more channel. Welcome back. Today I have the pleasure to show you how you can use Atom Piano Roll via autofills from uh, a gem all K directly to drive a drum app or drum machine. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, we are inside the AUM, as you can see. We click on the plus sign and we create a MIDI channel because uh, um, Autofills from Gemol K, it's a MIDI processor and it doesn't generate any sound. So we click on the plus sign here, we search and we start to type AUT and you can see Autofills appears there as a search. We open it up and maximize it as well. And this is how it works. Let's configure it a little bit. I already created and published a tutorial, so you can go through that to see how it works. But I go on duration here. I set that it will wait for two bars before creating a field of one bar in terms of duration. Additionally, I wanted to randomize every time. And I'm also going to disable this option, which says block incoming MIDI during the fail. And I will explain that in a moment. As I mentioned, it's a MIDI processor and it doesn't generate any sound. So you need to click on the plus sign and create an audio channel as well. We click on the um, plus here and we need to decide on a source. So we reveal the search bar and we search for uh, Hammerhead like so. Now let's open up uh, Hammerhead, maximize it and reduce a little bit of the volume because uh, it can be quite high by default and uh, therefore it can pick. So and on the bottom right here, we disable the sequencer because we don't want to use the internal sequencer of Hammerhead. If you watch the previous tutorial that I published, you know that you can connect autofills directly to Hammerhead. If you click here on the left hand side, you can decide which MIDI input to select in this case autofills. Then you open autofills, you go to settings here and template, and then you search for hammerhead so that you have already a template or already a set up for the different nodes that correspond to hammerhead. Now, after two bars here, it will create a fill for the duration of one bar. So let's try. One bar, two bar. And that's how it works. And uh, this is how it works by default without any other, uh, I suppose, additional uh, setup or configuration. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, I want to show you how it works in conjunction with uh, another sequencer like Auto Piano Roll. So I'll double click underneath here to create another node. I click on the plus sign. And then I'm going to um, search for Atom Piano Roll. And I also enable the launch. In order for uh, these to um, work, um, there, are, there are two ways that you can actually use Piano Roll against, uh, um, against Hammerhead. The first one, of course, would be to change the MIDI input, remove autofills, and connect it to Atom Piano Roll. If you do this traditional way of using it, double click uh, to maximize, of course, Atom. Uh, let's, for simplicity, keep it to um, a repetition of one bar, like so. Go back at the beginning. And let's, um, yeah, let's um, create um, a simple bit, like so. So uh, we can add some kicks um, events, like so. Also some snares there. And then we can... Okay, we can add some uh, um, I hat, sorry, close hat, like so. Oops. Perfect. Now let's click play. So you can hear um, Atom Piano Roll driving Hammerhead, and you can hear, of course, uh, uh, that uh, drum beat. And you can see, of course, activity on Hammerhead, which is receiving messages directly uh, from Atom Piano Roll. If I wanted to introduce now um, autofills, what I could do, for example, is also link to the MIDI input autofills like that. So in this case, Hammerhead will receive messages directly from Atom Piano Roll and also from autofills. 
Okay, and let's try. Now the two of them are playing together. So auto, auto fills and auto piano roll are playing together some ahead. Now, there is another setup that you can use. You could remove uh, here from Hammerhead the connection to Atom Piano Roll, and you can connect Atom Piano Roll directly to Autofills, like so. You set it as a MIDI input. Now, if you leave things as they are, and under duration here in Autofills, you have blocking coming MIDI during the fills to off. Now, nothing has changed when you play. Um, you hear both autofills and uh, also atom piano roll play together. However, if you enable this now to block incoming MIDI during the fill, now autofills will stop um, the incoming MIDI messages, in this case from atom piano roll, while it is playing the fill. Now, to make it a little bit more uh, obvious, let's um, let's choose um, yeah a clubs like these, and let's uh, say that we add a lot of clubs like that, so it is really evident that those clubs are playing together. And let's listen and ensure that uh, Atom Piano Roller's MIDI messages is disabled when the fill is played by. So you can hear that uh, um, the uh, MIDI messages from Atom Piano Roll have actually been stopped. So this is a nice way to actually use them in conjunction and is really good. It avoids the two playing together. So this additional option is actually welcomed. Okay, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And as always, see you next time. Bye.